Ijoma. Ijoma. Ijoma, come on. I'm going to the shrine to do the works of the gods. You are going to the shrine to do the work of your gods. You have served them, worshipped them diligently, yet they find it so hard to bless you. Why? I understand your plight, Ijoma. But the gods are not men. They are not mortal. They do things their own way. And I strongly believe at the right time, they will bless my household if you tell. You are saying this because you are not the one that walk on the road and people tag you barren and rich. You are only being exalted and called all sort of good names whenever you pass on the road. And I, your wife, has been tagged barren, rich. That's why you are saying all this, right? No one will tag you witch or barren. People love me, so they will always love you as much as they do love me. Ikeji Nobi, you have to stop all this nonsense you were saying and pray to that same God to bless me with a child, my own child, a child that will suckle my breast and cry endlessly at night, my own. Pray, pray to them. Ide Jogu. Ide Jogu. A dry moneke, a dry monod, a dry monof, a dry monof. If I quack, if I went where, but you buy a bone and a broken a job. Gilling, killing, and a kilo, the donator, the den you zoo. I got to learn that you go to the Greek and a bone for seven other years. Alucine Liefi, now I'm talking. Alucine Liefi, now I'm talking. Alucine Liefi, now I'm talking. Oh, look, oh, Nero, you're not going to get it. I'm sick of all of it. I'm going to go to Ludo. I'm going to go to Ludo. I'm going to go to Ludo. Have you inquired of them why they are yet to bless me with a child? Ikejinobi, have you asked the dead Jogogo why they happily shot my womb? Have you? Ijama, it's too early to be on the bad side of the Jogogo. They are merciful. But they are rough. It's forever. Let them get angry. Let the gods get angry. Let them get angry for all I care. I want them to become angry and bless me with a child. That is exactly what I'm asking for. Get angry. Get angry and bless me with a child. I understand how you feel. But please, go home, my wife. I promise to commune with the gods until you are handsome. Please go. I shall return and I wait for you to come back with good news. Else! I want to thank you 
for the new day you have given to me. I also want to thank you for your faithfulness for keeping my brother, Omekago, childless. And I trust and believe that you will keep me alive till the day I will ascend the throne of my fathers. I know you will do it for me. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I am still modeled at the definition of the word. Honestly, I am still confused. How could my only sister and my lovely wife see me, her husband, and their brother grumbling in pain? And all they could do was drinking and pressing their phone, knowing fully well that I was dying. What could be the meaning of this dream? Although I don't know the meaning of the dream, but the truth is this. I will eventually laugh at your cause where you die without having a child that will carry the name. Yes, your highness, read my lips. How can you allow a witch, you allow yourself to be controlled by her? Send her away and get yourself another woman that will have a child for you. You refused. She keep brainwashing you, telling you all will be well in a way. Um, see, uh, Ugueze, it's not as if Helen herself is comfortable with the whole situation. She's equally worried. Okay, just last night, I woke up in the middle of the night and saw her praying close to her altar. She prayed for almost three hours. It was only early this morning that she came back to the bed to sleep. And this has been happening all the time. I know you will not hesitate to come to her rescue. You will always defend her. This witch, Ona Tagiko, okay? Ona Fuki Breeze. <laughs> My brother, to be honest with you, your constant refusal to do the right thing is a gain to our uncle Mbogo. Mbogo! is waiting patiently like a vulture to devour a dying man like you. He is waiting for you to die so that he will take up the throne. The gods of our forefathers will not allow anything evil to befall me. So tell me, my dear sister, what do you suggest I do? Simple. Send her away. Yes, Johannes. Send her away and get yourself another woman that will have a child for you. Ugueze, that will not be easy. Helen is the woman I love. <sighs> Helen is the love of my youth. She's the one that makes me happy. Sending her away from this palace is not an option at all. All I know is that you need to get yourself another woman that will give you a child that will bear our father's name. Uh -huh. I shall know how to massage my feet. Ah! Why come on? Stop it, you barren vulture. You see your life? This is the kind of fake life you like living. You see? You're relaxed. Allowing other women's children serve you. Yes! 
but give my brother a child. No! It's not in your dictionary at all. Because of your witchcraft, you have refused to give my brother a child. <sighs> well, you guys can leave us now. Stay right there. Nobody should know. That you are a barren witch? Is that why you want them to leave? I am asking you. Well, um, they know too well that I have nothing to hide. That's because I have nothing to hide. And hey, let me correct you from what you just called me now. I am not a witch, as you imply. Uh, <laughs> really? You are not a witch. All right. Maybe you are a barren witch. Yes, a dry land. Anna Olonko. On fertile land, that is what you are. I came to warn you this minute. Leave my brother alone. Allow my brother to get a fertile woman that will give him a child. Please! Because if you don't, I am going to make your life so miserable. Read my lips. I am going to wreck your life in this palace. Miserable witch. Can leave me now, please. I need to be left alone. Just ignore whatever thing that happened here. You know her too well. Excuse me, please. Sacrifice to that deity. Eh, this is 25 centuries from uh -oh. oh, yeah, my daughter. Uh -uh. This has been the word of our people, eh? the word of our forefathers. And let me tell you, they have been protecting our people. And you want me, your father, to forget it for what? Papa, you know, Christians have taken all over the whole Many world. Enough. Please, enough, my daughter. Go and continue with what you are doing. You are talking about religion.
Daughter of the soil. It's been 10 months since you got married. Yet you are finding it difficult to conceive. Yes, you're correct, great one. When you get home, pick 13 pieces of Odala leaf. Wash them with salt and give to your husband. Idejo Gugu will bless your household with a child. Seriously, I really feel for Queen Helen. She's suffering due to her childlessness. <sighs> Dovchi, I've always hated that woman. Because she have children doesn't give her the privilege to talk down on the queen. <laughs> that one. <laughs> the woman she called a witch is ten times better than her. Queen Helen is a good woman with a kind heart. Ask me. And I'll say that is the reason why the king married her. <sighs> Queen Helen is that woman that can give you rest of mind. Yes. <clears throat> Look at them. I believe there's nothing to do today. Oye wants to see the both of you now. Where is the king? He's coming. Okay. I'm interested. Where is the queen? Have you told her that the food is ready? Yes, your highness. She have a seat and eat your food. But she says she's not eating. My wife will not just stop eating for no reason. Besides, she has not left her room this morning. Let me check if she's fine. Um, Your Majesty, maybe she is practicing her witchcraft. That is why she is not joining us. Where are you going to? Your Majesty, please come and eat. Take the witch. Take the witch. Helen, you have been here since yesterday. You have been crying. Do you want to kill yourself for your people? My love, please stop crying. Your tears is wetting your beautiful face. Why should I stop? I want to know the reason why you want me to stop crying. I mean, I'm now an object of ridicule, an object of grief and laughter. I have been called a barren witch. I have been labelled as a barren vulture. What is, what is that? What is that barren vulture? I mean, what do they mean by that? 
good death or <laughs> such an ungodly name in my own palace. God. Eh? Who dare in my palace? <laughs> my love, you are not a barren witch. You are not a barren vulture. <laughs> Tell me, who called you by such name? <laughs> you guess it right? I know it's only you guess it. Then why? Why? Why in God's name has the swamp refused to carry a child for you? Why has the womb refused to be pregnant for you? If I'm not those names, I am a witch. I don't know. Um, Maybe. My love. Maybe they're right. My love. You are not a witch. You will get pregnant when the time is due. <laughs> Stop crying before you do not feel bad. <laughs> but as for Ugeze, as for Ugeze, she will have me to contend with it in this palace for calling my beautiful, charming wife such. No! Oh no, your highness. Now you want to worsen everything. Please, no! Good people always face bad luck in life. Queen Henning is a good woman, but still, fate is unkind to her. Dochi, I don't feel for her each day. At times, I wonder why do God allow the good people to suffer in this cruel world? Despite what Ugeze did to her, she still stands to defend her. That's what I call a vicious woman. I saw everything. But wait, oh, look at the way she abused the queen as if she's just a commoner. 
is someone like Queen Helen, she will do that kind of thing too. Because if she tries it with me, I swear, I will so humiliate her that she will regret being related to the king. Mama, talk to us now. Who upsets you? That lady, Helen. That lady is a witch. Can you imagine that that lady bewitched my brother and he turned against me? Omeka go shouted on top of his voices at me today and almost hit me. <laughs> Mama, wait. You mean your brother, King Omekago, tried to hit you because of his barren wife? Is, 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 is that what you're trying to tell us? Do you think I'm playing or am I exaggerating? I said Omekago shouted on top of his voices at me. Me, who guessed and almost hit me. Mama, so that thing turned the king against you. <laughs> As who one of them. So you have gone. Ah, my children. Don't worry. <laughs> this game, we're going to play it well. We have to leave by tomorrow. Back no to problem, the palace. Mama. No problem. Huh. We'll leave tomorrow. Okay. Yes, right? yes, we'll get ready. Okay. And then tomorrow we'll leave. No problem. Come on, let me have put your bag. Rub it on your private part and tummy before making love to your husband. This you must do the moment you get home. Do not cook. Do not date. As a matter of fact, don't do anything until you are done making love with your husband. Thank you, Ivy. Thank you. But great one. My husband is not at home at the moment. What should I do? Call him to come back home immediately. Idejo Gugu blesses those who are obedient. Really? Really? Ezemo does all this, yet I am still without a child? What have I not done for the gods to bless me? What exactly have I not done for them to, to give me my own child? What? You may leave. Thank you. Thank you. Ijama, you never told me you were coming to the shrine today. That's because I am tired of being called barren. You give children to other women, and your wife does not have even one. One. What is going on? What are the gods saying? What are they doing? I need to have my own child. What is it? What? My sister, I really feel for the chief priest though. That man is a good and upright person. I just pray the gods give him child of his own. At least for his dedication and commitment. You see, I've asked myself severally why the gods has not blessed them with a child. Is it his fault or that of his wife, Ijoma? I think it's the fault of that his wife, Ijoma. Because that man is too good. That man is too good to be corrupt. He's a honest person. Hmm. Honestly, the gods need to bless them with a child. Hmm. Because he has served them severally over the years. Hmm. Yes, so let's just hurry up and go. Hmm? Ah. My wife, I understand your misery and pain. But please, let's wait on the gods. At the right time, they will give us our own child. Right time? Right time, you say? When exactly is the right time? Is it when I am old? Talk to the gods! When is the right time? Watch your words, woman, so that you don't get the gods anymore. Commune with them the same way you do for others. 
commune, communicate. Anything you've been telling them to give other people's children, do it in my own tongue. Tell them the same thing. Else, I will do things my own way. Idejogubu. 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 Butuo. 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 Your Majesty. Father. I want to ask you a question. There is this man that was born blind from birth. Who's fault that the man was blind? Is it the mother's fault? Father or the man? Actually, Father, I don't know. <clears throat> you see, Your Majesty, none of them is at fault. You see, Your Highness, John chapter 9, verse 3 says, And Jesus answered them and said, Neither the man have sinned, nor the parents, but for the work of God to be made manifest in his life. Your Highness, you see, what you are passing through at this moment is a sign that God has a better plan for you. You need to keep on holding on to him. He will never fail. God is not man that he will change. Neither is he a son of man that he should repent. As he said it, he will surely do it. Thank you so much, Father. I'm grateful. Father, I still believe in God's miracle. Just that, you know, look at me. I'm not getting any younger. I don't want his blessing to come very late. That's all. Your Highness, God can never come late. God cannot be late. He knows the appropriate time to gift his people. He knows the right time. Just keep on holding on to him. He has said it. He will surely do it. Amen. Let us pray. In the name of the Father. Your Majesty. Father. Yes, Father. You remember everything I said to you. God is too faithful to fail. At the appropriate time, He will do His miracle. Thank you so much, Father. I'm really grateful. To tell you the gospel truth, my faith has really stirred up more just with your words today. I'm grateful. You're welcome, my sister. All right, Father, let me return to the palace now. Do have a great day. And you too. Thank you. Um, <laughs> actually, I want to thank you for everything you've been doing for the church and the orphanage. You know, the orphanage actually needs those items now. Father, how many times will you thank me? It's actually nothing. Thank you once again. You're welcome. <laughs> May the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Ide Jogu. Ide Jogu. 
You did your Google. Nana, if I won. Fenemon, if I won. Nina Jelos, you must run. I am about to go out. This is your territory. Protect it. Anybody that comes here with bad intention, may death visit them. But anybody that comes here in need, visit and console them, answer their prayers. And Jacob. <coughs> I waited for you to come back yesterday to tell me what Idejogugu said, only for you to come back drunk as usual. And you didn't say anything, which indicates you did not commune with the gods. No, I communed with the gods, but in their own wisdom, they decided to remain silent. I thought as much. My wife, you can't force the gods to talk. Gods of my fathers, Idejobu, I hope you are planning something better. Ide Jogu. Ide Jogu. Ide Jogu. I see the LFI now at Atoke. I see the LFI now at Atoke. Who are you? 
olha Deu boa, né, Nódio? Não, não, eu falei, Nódio. Alucine ali, eu vi. Não, tá toque. Alucine ali, eu vi. Não, tá toque. Why these bats? Your Highness, I don't understand this question. What part of this question that you don't understand? Eh? I mean, why are you carrying all these bags as someone who is embarking on a long vacation? Oh! The bags? Why are you asking this question, Your Highness? Have you forgotten that I have a quarter in this palace? Oh, is it because I am a lady? I'm supposed to be the king if I was a man. Eh? Anyway, my children and I are here to stay. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetheart. I know what you're thinking about, but believe me. I can cope with them. I know my sister goes there very well. Her coming to this palace with her children <laughs> suggests one thing. And that one thing trouble. trouble. I know. Trouble for you, my <laughs> wife. It's alright. I know that already. Like I said earlier, I will cope. By the grace of God, I will try as much as possible to avoid her and her children. I will. It's alright. <laughs> hey, you are in my house today, unannounced. You know it's not easy to always see a masquerade. Or should I say you are here to see someone in our neighborhood? Or you are here to discuss something very important with me. Because uh, I don't know. Or should I say you want to use one, one stone to kill two birds? Oh, you are right. Um, I came to see my farm. I that my land. Close to your place. Oh, oh, oh. 
Hey. Yes, sadly. Yes, I remember. I remember. So I decided to come in to see an old friend. Old friend? Yes. <laughs> I'm still surprised that you, you still see me as your old friend. Okay, thank you for the accolade. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> um, how is your family? Um, they are fine. And that is the most important thing. Um, it's here, Bog. Uh, are you not concerned about your brother? I mean, uh, King Omekago. He's absolutely doing nothing about his wife's inability to conceive a child. Um, Ichiak, why should I be worried? Why should I be worried over another man's problem? Let me tell you, I have a lot of them on my head and I am treating them by myself. Let every individual take care of their problems. That's the way I see it all. So, you are happy that your brother has not conceived and be a child? Chiaco, Edirigedi. Oh, oh, oh. You are here to seek for what you gossip with. No problem. I just adore you. Oh, ah, ah, what? Is that why you are here? I for say. Ah, ah. I keep wondering. Ah, Ichiako. What? Oh, no, dear. Save John. Ichiako, what do you say? Oh, no, 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 no. Ichiako, I think you're going Why am I not the one who is going to be Andrew, you know I hate it when you keep me waiting. If you're not coming, just tell me, let me know what I'm doing. That's what you said an hour ago. Can you for once learn to keep to your words, Andrew? can say you're sorry. Am I too small for you not to have noticed me and my, and my environment? Or are you just jealous of my mother that she has children? Something you have not been able to have. Now you listen to me, young lady. I'm going to overlook your insult today, but hey, never repeat it next time. And if it happens, what would you do? What will you do? <laughs> Please let me warn you. Stay clear from me. Be wary of me in this palace. Rubbish. Your Highness. Your Highness. Why did you let her in like that? You would have had her punished for speaking to you rudely. That is true, Your Highness. She should have dared you that. You don't have allowed her to go in just like that. It's all right, everyone. Just let her be. She's a young lady. It's all my fault. I didn't even check the radiator this morning. I didn't check the water. No shop around. Oh. Hello. Hey, uh, is there any shop around here? I, I need water. Okay. Wait, let me get water for you. You want to get it for me? Yes. Ah, thank you. Okay. Um, 
Окей, я сделал так. Why didn't you slap her? You should have slapped the living day out of her face. No, but I gave her the last warning of her life. Very next time she tries it, I will beat her blue black. And who is that that is calling you on the phone? <laughs> who else? Is it not Andrew? I'm sure he's at the gate. And why are you not picking his calls? What happened? I won't. That idiot kept me waiting for hours. Let him stay there. It is very back time. But he should at least pick his calls. Anita, mm -hmm. I won't pick his calls. Chisom, pick his calls. Now he's at the gate. Let me turn off this phone. Chisom! Around 
killing the legal and kill the donor to 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 the Truthfully, with my whole heart. I have been upright. But I don't understand why I'm finding it difficult to have my own child. You have blessed many with babies through me. Yes, that's the fact. So why am I lacking my own child? As an oracle of the gods, I am not happy. I am not happy. major did I deviate no I don't do evil I don't do bad charms I don't kill people all that wound work I know so what is the problem If you don't mind, you can sit. I want to act with it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I just want to take a little of your time. Huh? My question is, is it true that whenever a man does not wash his mouth before eating his wife's soup, he always complains that the soup is sour. You've always come back home late, drunk. I want to know, is it the reason Ide Jogugu has refused to bless us with a child? What are you driving at? Exactly where I'm driving at. You've always come back home drunk. Is it the cause of our childlessness? Obuna, we see Amahako. Kobuna, Agobadi Henko. Which of these is the reason? I want to understand. When the time is right, the gods will bless our union with a child. You have come with when the time is right again. I am desperately in need of a child. A male child that will take over me. A male child that will bear my name. A male child that will push our lineage forward. You are not the only one on this. Well, let's wait on the gods. When the time is right, they will answer us. Greetings, great one. I thank the gods for bringing you to our land. What you told me to do, I've done it, and I am happily blessed with a child. I came here with a little token just to show my appreciation for what you did for me and my family. Thank you. The gods will keep and protect your child till you put to bed. You see. Go. Thank you, great one. They keep using you to give other people children, but they can't even bless us with one. You see all this nonsense here? All this rubbish. You better take them back to Dejogugu. Since they can't bless me with a child and they keep blessing others with children. I am the eye of the gods. I am their instrument. I am an oracle. I represent them. I can only plead with them 
I'm not in the position to command them. You must be in the position, though. Whether you like it or not, you must be in the position. Because before you go and come back, you see all this rubbish, all this nonsense here, all these stupid things here, I will burn them down. I will burn down these things before you come back. You better take them out of this house. Take them out! Child. You keep blessing other women with children, but you cannot give me a child. My husband has been serving, worshipping, serving you diligently. Yes, you can't bless us with a child. You're a big disgrace. I will bore you. Rubbish. Nonsense. Just one child. You can't even give us. <sighs> As you go home, do not follow the path that leads to Achara's site. Danger awaits you people there. Take another road. Thank, 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 you. thank, you. thank you. May the gods of our land, Idejogugu, protect and guide you people. Be safe out there. Remember, do not follow the road that leads to our channel site. Thank you. Danger awaits you people. Such a man after the girl's heart. Pure and humble. Most times, I keep wondering if the gods are not seeing his dedication to his work and bless him with a child. They are annoying because of their own precious time to give their own precious gifts at the last time. That's true. You're right, my sister. Let's go. I'm very tired. Let's go. I told you guys. I told you guys we should strike them when they were going to the farm. You guys say no. It's still that we should wait when they were returning back. How sure are you they are still in the farm at this time? Because I'm very sure they are not in the farm. I'm very sure. Boy, let's go to the farm and look for them. Maybe we'll see them there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> now you speak like someone who did not suck in small's breast. Boy, they suck me. I'm going to lie to you. Guy, you are idiots. Because if you are not, there is no way we are going to find them. Because we don't even know where the fan is located. Yeah, I'm not mm -hmm. What I'm saying is we need to look into this. Mm -hmm. I don't see the reason why Mbago should get angry when I inquire to know about our king's childlessness. Honestly, this calls for questioning. As much as your right to ask, but you of all people should know. I should know how. Uh, my good friend, I will explain to you how. Our king childlessness favors Bob. Oh. <laughs> now let me ask you. If our king dies now, who do you think will become the king of this kingdom? Oh, forgive me, Olo mm. 
I didn't look at this matter properly. Oh. That he's getting something from me. I wouldn't have bothered. Exactly. But uh, the truth be told, we still need to talk to our kids. We cannot uh, just claim as if all is well. We need to talk to him to know what is his plan about all this. Um, hello, mm -hmm. Where do you want us to go and see him? I will uh, consult with the other ditches, then find out when it will be convenient for them. Then I will now fix a date for us to go and see the king. It's all right. Mm. It's all right. Kyle, Kaiga, Mbagu is very trickish. You are very I don't understand you lately. Like you've been brooding and smiling all by yourself. What is happening? How oh, can okay, I wish you or what? Let me know what I'm doing with okay. uh, Tony, have you ever fallen in love at first sight? <laughs> yes, but back then in school. So, are you in love again? Like, did you get hitched by another girl? Aside from Chisum, the one I know. Chisum? Ah, come on, Chisum is a thing of a past now. You know, her level of insulin is becoming too much that I can no longer condo it. Thank God. Thank God to your eye don't open. I've told you about this girl, Chisum. Both of you are not compatible to be together. I've told you before. Uh, guy, you won't blame me now. You know, I was thinking with time she's going to change. But trust me. As it stands now, there is nothing like change in her agenda. Praise be to God. So, <clears throat> tell me about this your missing religious meds that is making you to fall in love easily. Like seriously? Mm -hmm. So, you want us to start talking about her now? I guess I'm talking, my guy. Tell me. Get out, you like me, baby. I'm not going to go to another one. Please, respect yourself. My uncle, Ichiambog. You are welcome. So what happened? Why are you no longer coming to the palace as usual? Um, Your Highness, I have been busy lately. I thought as much. So why is my daughter Chine here? <laughs> that one. That one with long legs. She is there with a, a lot of troubles, just like her late mother. You are right, you are right. Ugochi is troublesome. But my joy is that you love her so much. Yes. You are very right. I loved her so much. But that could not allow me to enjoy her. I don't know that you do go out or visit anyone. That is exactly what I was saying. All of a sudden, Ichem Bogo, stop coming to the palace, your own palace. <laughs> so had it been I did not move back into the palace you wouldn't have visited me ah, so you have returned back to the palace ah, but what? yes so I am back home because my brother here his highness of course needs to be put in check if he will have a son that will succeed him. Oh, I see. If not, that witch of a wife will kill him and leave him without no child. So, I am here to make sure he gets another wife that will give him a child that will answer my father's name. Eh, uh, but uh, it's not late for them to have a child. As a beside. The gods know the best time to do their thing. Ah, no time is ever the best time than now. Because death does not give signal before coming. Ah, but they are not dying anytime soon. Exactly what I've been telling her. But she wouldn't listen. All she is bent is having me take another wife without minding 
how much I love my wife, Helen. Anyway, I am here now. Hmm? It's either he gets me another woman that will bear a child for him, or you tell your lovely wife to give me a child that will answer the family's name. Thank you. Mm. I'm bog, I'm bog. You see this, my sister? She is a thorn in my flesh. She is a thorn in my flesh in this palace. Ah, your highness. Now you should have been used to her constant nagging. I, that is why I always keep quiet. How? Ah, women. Women. Fear women. Who mm. go Oh, oh, oh. You move back to the palace so you can force your brother, Omekag, to go and get another wife that will give him a son. Therefore, putting my plans in jeopardy, you want to spoil my own plans of becoming the next king of Ubunuri Kingdom. That will never happen. Ugeze, you have failed. The great benefactor of Mukebulem lineage. Why are you keeping silent when I'm gradually becoming an object of ridicule in my father's speech? My jaw remains gaped open because of the songs of mockery that keep echoing in my ears. Please, gods of my ancestors, look down on me and bless me, even if it's one child. Please. My dear. Oh, oh my god. I'm just, I'm just sometimes I used to wonder. What's up? A lot is really going on that on my mind. Are you okay? Huh? You miserable soul! How dare you pour water on me? Do you want me to kill you? I'm sorry, my princess. Please forgive me. I should forgive you. I should kill you right now. Just imagine. Get out. Get, Get out. out. Anita, I think you should save your anger for that, that woman that made our mother sad. And not these pitiable things that loiter around here. I think she should know what is coming for her because she's beginning to be wise of late. She knows what is coming after her that is making her stay away from us. Of course. You know, I've been thinking. I think we should just poke her. Yes. Poke her into getting angry and then she would react and we would comfortably give her a dose of what we have for her. Uh, that's why you're my sister. Of course. <laughs> oh my god, look at my clothes. Guy, you fuck up. Why didn't you take her number that first day? Huh? Or even to ask of her name? Andrew, you don't try at all. No, I've just been standing here for how many hours now waiting for her? How am I even sure she will pass here today? Oh, 
Sorry, please excuse me. Good afternoon. Uh, afternoon. Um, so, sorry to bother you. Um, I'm kind of looking for a girl. I, yeah, uh, she, she's kind of tall, um, light, light skin, yeah, average. I, I really don't know how to describe her, but she, she's light and tall. In, she's tall, yes. So I'm, I'm sorry, there are so many girls in this album Mary with that same description, but I don't really have a particular person you're asking me. Oh, yeah, I really do not know her name. But I just want to thank her for helping me some days ago. Uh, uh, I really wish to see her. I don't know if you can help me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Can you imagine? I, I think Andrew is forming for me. How? He hasn't called or returned his calls since. I, I think he's avoiding me. He should have picked his call the other day he called you. But you chose to snub him. And now he's paying you with your own coins. Uh-huh. Anita. What is that supposed to mean? Are you mocking me or what? <laughs> God forbid that I will mock you. You're my sister, and all I owe you is the truth. I mean, you should have picked his call the other day he called you, but you choose to snub him and left him at the gate for only God knows how long. So? Nita, do, do, do you think I'm going to lose him? <sighs> okay, so I think you should go and see him and um, talk things out with him. So let's start it up from there, okay? All right. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, yeah. Afternoon. You remember me? The, the guy you helped with water the other day. Yes, I remember you. But what I don't understand is what you are doing here. Actually, I am waiting for you here so I could see you. And God being so kind to me, now reward me with your presence the moment I was about losing hope. You are still not making any sense to me. What are you doing here? What do you want? Um, the last time we met, we didn't introduce ourselves properly. I am Andrew, and you are... For the last time, what do you want? That is what I want to know. And what are you doing here? Come on, uh, you do not have to be harsh to me. I am harmless. Oh, see, let me go straight to the point. Ever since I met you, ever since I set my eyes on you, I have not been able to take you off my mind. Yes. In a much as sometimes I try to overlook things, but honestly, I can't lie to myself. I can't do without you. Believe me. See, you won't believe if I tell you that I've been here waiting for you for the past six hours. Please, at least just allow me to know your name and to have your number. You shouldn't have done all this because I'm not the type of girl you want. Please, you have to try and... Ah, ah. Here, you're here. Oh, good afternoon. You're still here. You know him? Yes, yes this guy has been standing here since 10 a.m. in the morning. I met him at the same spot when I was on my way to Umoji. Since 10 a.m.? 
And this is before 4 p.m. Must you see me? Why can't you leave? I must see you. I, I, I can't stop lying to myself. I can't hold on without you. Chineye, this guy here is very serious, so I think you should consider him, okay? See you later. Now you know my name, so can I go? You didn't tell me your name. So you have to compliment it with your phone number. So, can I have your number? You can't be serious. Yes, I am. You are not. So, kiddo, <laughs> how do I look? <laughs> you look magnificent. Work. Go and kill him, please. Just go, just go, just go. Of course, that's the idea. Please turn around, <laughs> turn around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you! Come here. Go to the kitchen and get me cold water to drink. I'm sorry. The Queen sent me on errand. Let that word choke you to death. Look at this idiot! Go to the kitchen and get me cold water before I forget my five fingers on your face! So you are defaulting my orders because of that barren witch. Idiot. This maidens are beginning to annoy me. <sighs> anyway, you look good. Are you, have you snapped some pictures? Back to where we were. What are you doing? You have to be careful. Fine. Chica! Now what's the matter? I thought I sent you on an errand. Your Majesty, Anita ordered me back to go get her water from the kitchen. And what's the meaning of that? Hold on, excuse me. Shift this. Oh, what's the meaning of this? And where is the water I asked you to bring for me? None of them will do that for you. If you want anything, young lady, you stand up, go get it yourself. <laughs> Says who? <laughs> Says oh. who? Says the queen of this kingdom. In case you have forgotten, I am the queen of this land and whatever thing I say stands. In case you don't know, let me remind you. You are nothing but a barren witch. That's it. Did you get me? Guts! Yes, yes, no, yes. Seize them and slice their throat. If any of you touches me, I would slap the living daylight out of that person's face. Touch me! Slice their throats and feed them to the dogs. Stop. Two steps back. <laughs> now you listen to me. Your mother might be the king's sister, but I am the king's wife, which makes me the queen of this kingdom. Insult me one more time. What I would do to two of you, you will not forget in a hurry. Not even your mom can stop me. Rubbish. Let's go.
Andrew, Andrew. Tony Tenero. Looking at the biggest smile on your face, I guess uh, you succeeded seeing your misery love. Oh, yes, I did. Omo, um, after waiting for so many hours, the moment I was about losing hope, hmm, lo and behold, she just walked in majestically. She walked in gracefully. You need to check her out. She's so beautiful that even in the darkest of the dark, I will always recognize her. Wow, that was nice. So, did she give you any reason to answer? Mm. Uh, well, um, well um, you know, matters of the heart is not something you will just rush into. Mm -hmm. uh, but at least I was able to know her name and she gave me her phone number. Uh, that's a beautiful start anyway. I know with time, everything will just fall in place. Wow. Excuse me, it's Tess. I need to pick her call. Okay. Hi, what's up? Oh, well? Mother, you must do something. You must. We almost died today. Now I see what you meant by that woman is a witch. Her viciousness still sends gestures to my spine. Don't worry, my children. Helene thinks she has some wings to fly. I am going to clip them for her. Yes, yes, my mother. I will make her regret the very first day she entered this palace. <sighs> So this is it. Your precious wife wants to kill my daughters. Omeka Gu, your precious wife has the guts, the temerity, the effrontery, the nerves to order the guts to slice my children like a chicken. Omeka Gu. Hey. Um, Ugeze. Calm down and tell me what happened. Oh, I should tell you what happened. As if you don't know. Eomi can go. Go and tell her that she has awoken a sleepy lioness. She will have me to contend with her heart. I will make her life miserable in this palace. My own children. Hey! Chidolfo. Your Highness. Is it true that the Queen asked you and Odina to kill Chisum and Anita? Yes, Your Highness. But I believe she didn't mean it. Helen, what is the meaning of this madness? Why did you order the guards to kill Anita and Chisum? Hmm? What is the meaning? Have you lost your sense of reason? Have you lost your mind? Not like I killed them. I didn't. They're still alive. Does it matter? Does it matter? Listen, I want you to go down and apologize to them. Go and apologize to them. I am not telling you this as your husband. But as the king of this land, go and apologize to them. You may come in. My sister goes in. I never knew what happened until you just told me. Please, I'm sorry. So this is it. Sorry is what you would have been telling me now. If that blood-sucking demon you call a wife had killed my children. But they are not dead. And so? They are... I said and so? Listen to me, you make her go. 
Helene, your precious wife, has drawn the first sword. She should be ready to face the war she has started. Um, Uga is my sister. I am trying to solve this as a family and as a king of this palace. I want you to drop all these your nasty comments. Helene would definitely apologize to the girls. Because this your ranting will not bring any solution or rather peace to the family. When Helene apologizes to the girls, I want you to make me a promise that you too will shed your sword. Remember our late parents always taught us to live in peace and harmony as one family. Please, I am sorry. Nanya. She Nanya Papa. She Nanya, I noticed that your phone has been ringing and you don't want to pick it. Who is calling you? Papa, no one has been calling me. No one. No one. Nene, I just hope he's not a man. Papa, I'm cooking inside. Let me just go and be sure what I'm doing. Eh? No okay, now. But let it not be a man, though. Let it not be one of those our useless, jobless boys. Because if it is, Nene, I will kill you with my bare hands. I will kill you with my bare hands. Why are you disturbing me? What is the meaning of this? Please, Helen. Stop disturbing me. I want to sleep. Um, Helen, I ask you to apologize to my nieces yesterday. And from the best of my knowledge, you haven't done that. Why? With all due respect, Your Majesty, I will not do it. I mean, you needed to have seen the way those kids insulted me. Insults you? Did you say my children insulted you? Oh, you're just forming it? <laughs> You may pretend like you have never seen or heard your children insulting me. They fed me with insults mm -hmm. and I will never <laughs> apologize to them. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Helen, come back. <laughs> come back here. <laughs> Don't you ever dare walk out of me. <laughs> this time, I am not talking to you as your husband, mm -hmm. but as the king of this land. I want you to go back and apologize to them. With all due respect, once again, your majesty, as your wife and the queen of this kingdom, I refused 
to apologize to her kids. Come on now, why are you acting like this, my husband? What is all this? You sit and watch your sister's children insult me. So much they called me names. They called me a witch, which I'm not. Shut up your mouth, are you not a witch? Stop whining yourself because Ibu witch. There is no two ways about it. I see. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Your Highness, have you seen it? Have you seen it that this woman have no remorse whatsoever for what she did to my children? I see. And this alone means war. War without end. War. War. She will see. War. She will see in this palace. I will not take it easy with her. Hey. Ijoma, where is my food? There is no food until you make me become a real woman. You've been doing it for other women. Do it for me. Mm. For two days now, you've denied me food. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? Of course, I am doing the right thing. I want a day job to become angry and speak concerning my problem. They should give me a child. Is it too difficult for you to do? You cannot question the gods. Then you have no right to ask me anything about food. Until they answer you, there will be no food for you in this house. Here we can go. You want food and you can't even get me pregnant. I don't have strength to cook. Your Highness. Just go back. I want to drive myself. Let me have the key. She's really suffering. The worst thing is that the king that's supposed to support her is the one putting the hot charcoal on her head. I hate those girls. Mind what you said. The world has ears. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Chunel, why are you doing this to me? I've been calling you since yesterday, but you refused to pick my calls. What happened? I don't think I need those calls. Besides, do you have anything serious? Chine, why are you doing this to me? Huh? Why are you doing this to us? You're hurting us. Why can't you just understand? See, all I'm begging is for you to give me the opportunity. Just the chance for me to show you how much I love you. I love you so much, Naya. Please, I'm begging you. Love who? Eh? Andrew? Love who? Eh? So this is the reason you have not been returning my calls, Andrew. So you think you would dump me because of this, this Alango Oroko, this Tolotolo? You want to dump me because of my cousin? Never. It will not happen, Andrew. And as for you, cheap slut, leave my man alone. Enough! Enough, Chisom! Who is your man? Have you forgotten you threw me out? Have you forgotten? Look at you. You are here creating a scene. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not? Why, 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 why should I be ashamed of myself? Eh? Andrew, why should I be ashamed of myself? Anyway, I don't have your time. Eh? If not that this cheap slot, this Ashawo Zenit, opened her, her, her two dirty stinking legs for you who will not be here saying this rubbish. Just if you open your mouth to call me names again, I will forget that we are related and do something stupid to you. Are you okay? <laughs> Lele. <laughs> Lele, tolo, tolo. So you still have the guts to talk. Eh, Chine, you still have the mouth to talk. I don't blame you. Stupid. I shall send it. Ah! If you open your mouth to insult me, 
I will do something stupid to you. Do you know how long this man has been begging me? And I turned him down. And now you open him up to say something stupid. Chile, you slapped me. Yes! And I'll slap you again! Asha, will you slap me? Shut up! Hey! 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 Stop! 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 Both of you should stop this! Stop! Stop it! Stop me! You stop it! Me. Stop it! Hey, hey, see, see, You better respect yourself before you do something stupid this afternoon. If I have to do something, you will regret. And you leave me alone. Your Highness, for how long do you intend to wet your face with tears? Men must have written you off. <laughs> People must have called you all sorts of names. But he's still God and he's still on the throne. <laughs> he knows how to make everything beautiful at the right time. Stop crying. When? <laughs> Father, when? <laughs> I have become an object of ridicule, mockery, and laughter in this community. <laughs> Even my husband believes that I am a witch who is incapable of giving him children. Father, let me ask you a question. Please, you are the only one who can tell me the truth. Is there still God in heaven? Because if there is still God in heaven, why has God blocked his ears from answering my prayers? Why has he closed his eyes from seeing my tears? Why? Can you tell me there is God? Mm -mm. No God. No God. Your Highness, I understand everything that you are passing through. You don't. You don't. Listen to me. <laughs> Do not allow the things you are passing through, the challenges. <laughs> Make you lose your faith in God. He is the God. And he knows how to shut the mouth of the mockers. Stop crying. Keep on praying. God is able to do everything. Put yourself together. Stop me here. Stop me. Oh. It's, I'm sorry for what just happened. But besides, uh, I didn't know that you and Chisom are related in any way. Uh, see, Chisom is just a spoiled brat, okay? Can you imagine? She abandoned me. She discarded me because I came late to pick her up from the palace. Well, you don't have to explain anything. Because I know Chiso. Though, I have always wished to slap her, just like I did to him. 
Well, you did the right thing. <laughs> hmm. Though, I was never against you, guys. Because Chisum and her sister Anita always act like little demons. And you know you are not like them, right? You don't have to complain. Because you don't know me very well. Um, I like you because you're patient and nice. That is one thing I like about you. I'm happy at least there is something you like about me. Um, please, I hope if I call you in the time you'll pick up my call, right? That means yes, right? Okay. Um, let me leave. Okay, no problem. I'll give you a call. Mama, can you imagine? had the mind to snatch my boyfriend and even slapped me. I mean, she slapped me because she knew Andrew would defend her. That dirty girl, that smelly girl. She slapped me, me Chisom. Chisom, see, fighting like this is not going to solve the problem. Pull yourself together and go get what is yours. Andrew is your man and even if you are going to lose him, you must fight. You must lose him fighting. Uh -uh. Are you going to quit like a coward? I have always taught you girls how to fight in this life. <laughs> always stand and fight. If you must lose, at least you will be remembered as a fighter. Mm -hmm. Not some kind of weakling. See, let me tell you. If you must lose that useless boy, what is his name? Uh, Andrew. Andrew. Eh? Not to Chinenye, Mbogo's daughter. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> that smelly girl. <laughs> Mama, this is exactly what I'm trying to tell you soon. She needs to pull herself together and plan on how to get her man. I mean, <laughs> Mama, if it was me, if it was me, I will not come back to this palace until I get my man. Oh, what yeah. are you saying? Okay. That dirty thing. See. Um, perseverance. Yes. You have to persevere to get what you deserve. Mm -hmm. Eh? Sorry. Ah. Sorry. Uh, Your Majesty. It said that a man that cannot dance very well will always complain that the drum beat is bad. Our people used to say that little by little, the little becomes much. What I'm trying to say to you, Your Majesty, is that little by little, that time is going. We are yet to hear a cry of a child from your household. What is going on? You want to know your plan over this, Your Highness? Since the Queen has not yet conceived, are you not planning to take another wife who will give you a son for the throne? Um, thank you so much, my elders. I really appreciate for the concern shown to my family and I. Mm -hmm. uh, but the truth is, I love my wife so much. And for this reason, I am not going to take another wife. Oh. I have so much confidence that the gods will soon bless us with children. But, Your Highness, why not take her to the Deji Okoko? Our deity is faithful in blessing our women with the fruit of womb. But that is true, Your Highness. The queen needs to try Ideji Okoko. I believe that she will be blessed with a child. Yes! Uh, my people, we shouldn't forget that the queen is the dedicated Christian. You know, asking her or taking her to Idejogu will compromise her Christian faith. I, I am not trying to speak for her because I am not her mouthpiece. Eh? If the queen on her own accepts to go, 
Mm, I don't have any problem, but I know she will not. I know she will not. Eh? Um, well, uh, my elders, I have heard all you have said. Hmm? I will talk to the queen, my wife, to know her own decision on this matter. Noblemen of our land. <laughs> we are a beautiful princess. Um, in all your meetings with the king, have you ever bothered to ask him why he is not bothered about his wife's inability to give him a child? A child that will succeed him when he might have joined his ancestors. Princess Ugeze, this was the agenda we discussed with him today. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's very good. So what is his reason for not doing anything? Nothing. He said he is king that the queen will give him a child. We even asked him to get another wife. But he refused? He bluntly refused. Mm. He said no. He refused? Another wife? That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Why would they even suggest a thing like that to him? Why? Uh, Your Highness, you must refuse it. Because I hope you know the implication of a polygamous home. Of course. Even if there's a blessing attached to it, I will never let it happen. Because I'm not ready to allow my husband to take up another wife. Never. Bam. You got it right. Hey, one more thing. Uh, I know you are a believer of a Christian way, right? Of course I am. They also suggested to the king to take you to Idejo Kuku. What? For her to give you a child. Don't accept it though, unless you are ready to compromise your Christian faith. God forbid. Never will I compromise my Christian faith. Thank you so much for this information. You're welcome. I'm grateful. Uh, I have to be on my way. Eh? Uh, but please, you have to be very careful. I will. Especially that Ugeze. Come on, yeah. But I'm your bono. Be very, very careful. Just to now, now, now watch ya. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me go. Words alone cannot express my profound gratitude because the ghost has given me what I ask of them. A great one. With a heart of gratitude, we have come to say thank you with a little gift out there. May the gods continue to bless you. You say, Idejo Gugu has seen your heart of gratitude and they are pleased. May the gifts they give to you be permanent. He said... Great one. I'm so sorry to have kept you people waiting. My love, you and I have done everything humanly possible to have children. We have done all series of tests. And all the doctors keep saying that both of us are medically fit. Yet, the children are not forthcoming. So I'm suggesting that we... If you are suggesting... 
that I should follow you to go see a fetish man? <laughs> then my answer is no, a very big one. Helen, what is wrong with you? Why do you rise one step ahead each time a possible solution is being mentioned on how you will conceive and give my brother, your husband, a child? Why? Ide Chugugu has been the god of our forefathers. They served him faithfully and he has been blessing them. Helen, go and see Ide Chugugu so that he will bless you and give you your Simple. own child. Okay, Which Ide Chugugu are you talking about? A dead god. I am still speaking as far as I'm concerned. That god is a dead god. A god that has ears cannot hear. Eyes cannot see, neither can he even give children. The only God that I know who gives children is none other but Jehovah. Enough! Ah! Enough! Hello, Memo! Helen, mm -hmm. in as much as I respect your choice of religion, I will not sit here and watch you speak so bad of the gods of my forefathers. Mm -hmm. But they are dead gods. Of course, they are all dead. I said stop! I don't want you to continue with this issue. With all due respect, my husband, if what you and your sister called me here, for me to accompany you to go see a dead guard. Uh, I'm sorry, my husband, my answer is no. Excuse me. <sighs> your Highness! Gods of my fathers, please bless me with a child. A child that will bear my name. I will forever be grateful. Whatever you are planning to foil my chances of becoming the king of this land, you will never succeed. Because I must sit on the throne of my fathers. Nothing will stop. Now or later? Chinani, I'm not hungry. Huh. Oh, excuse me, Mama. Hello? Andrew? Good evening. Yes, I'm fine. I'm at home with my father. Okay. I'll be expecting your call. All right. Papa? Who was that? Oh, he's a friend of mine. Someone of great value and very important to me. <gasps> yes. Baba, come, come inside. Let's go and eat. Go and go. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay
Omeka go stop it. Don't tell me that. Do not tell me that. I'm talking because I'm going to go to the mood. Because you that I know will not allow anybody to alter your decree. I can still remember when you punished me because of something that is nothing. But because you want to set an example. You ordered me to be locked up for three good days in a room. And now you are here. That woman is not challenging your authority. And you kept quiet. Hey, mm. uh -huh. um, Ugeze, I understand how you feel. There's nothing you understood. You do not understand anything, Omekago. Because if you do, you should have acted like a man instead of this vegetable that I'm seeing here. Yes! I am giving you seven days. Is it that you tell the woman to go and see Ide Jogoko so that she will bear a child that will replace you in this kingdom? Or I will pack my things and leave with my children in this house. Even in your death, you will not see me. I will not come. Where do you think you're going to? Stop it! What do you think you're doing? You will no longer eat on this dining, nor have anything to do with this household until you consider giving my brother a child. Sweetheart, are you listening to this? <laughs> Listen to me. This is not a matter of royalty. The name of my father and my brother is a stake. And I will no longer take it lightly with you. So, get out. Well, I'm glad you said royalty aside. Did you forget that this house belongs to my husband? Which automatically makes me the co-owner of this house. Hey, I'm giving you respect because you are my husband's sister and that's it. But you listen to me. You have no right whatsoever to order me around. Stand up! Uh, 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 um, Helen, Helen, please. Do not make this matter worse than it is already. What is this? You brought this upon yourself. All right. Let's deal with it. Now you've heard from the horse's mouth. Can you get out? 